In this video, I will show you how to remove a background in Filmora 12. So let's jump straight into it. As you can see, I'm here, I've got Filmora opened and I've actually got a copyright free video that I'm going to use in this example. So the first thing you're going to want to do is drag this into your timeline. So you can see at the moment, what we're going to do is we're going to be getting rid of the background and we're going to want to keep the image of this person. To do this is actually a really cool feature called Smart Cutout. And what you're going to want to do once you've got the clip highlighted, so you want to click onto the clip first of all. And then if you look at these icons down here, what you want to do is click onto this little picture of a portrait with a person in it. And if you come down, you're going to see the Smart Cutout option. So go ahead and give that a click. First, what you're going to want to do is highlight which part of the image you're going to want to keep. So, of course, we're going to look to keep this person and get rid of the surrounding background. So you can adjust your brush size from here. Of course, if you've got quite a big image, you can make it bigger. But for the purpose of this, I'm going to make it a bit smaller. Don't have to worry too much about the edge thickness or the edge feather. Don't worry too much about that for now. And what you want to do is just basically draw a line over the image like this. And you'll see what's going to happen is that is going to basically capture this guy and it's going to tell us that this is what we want to start cutting out from the background. Next, what you want to do is come here where it says click to start smart cutout and click this button here. What it's going to do is going to start tracking the image throughout the clip. So depending on the length of the clip, this could take a minute or two to go through. And at this point, you just want to check and make sure everything's OK. So if I stop it here, you can stop this at any point when it's doing this. Uh, you can see this little bit of his strap is going to be cut out because it's not highlighted. So what we're going to want to do is just highlight this by dragging again the line over it. And if you accidentally select something, so select this part of the background, then you can actually remove it by coming up to the top and you've got a picture of a pen and a picture of an eraser. So what you want to do is click onto the eraser and just drag this over the blue highlighted section. Otherwise, this is going to be cut out as part of the image. So you can just draw over it. Of course, I'm just doing this very quickly, but you can take a lot more time doing yours and you'll see that's going to remove it. Then you can just go ahead and click here to resume cutting out the image. So we're just going to give that a minute to run through and make sure that's OK. You can see again as it's tracking, I'm just going to stop it here because again, as we can see, there's a bit more of a background shown through here. So again, what we're going to do is make sure we got the eraser selected. And what we're going to do is just the best way to do this is just basically draw an outline like I'm doing here. As I say, it's very, very um, rough. I'm just going to do this quickly, but you can take a lot more time with yours. Once you've done the outline, just colour it in like this. And you'll see that's going to fix that mistake. So then what we're going to do is click again onto this button. You can see there's a bit more of a background there, but we're just going to leave that and leave it to finish processing through. So it's just going to take a minute or two to finish off. As I say, dependent on the length of the clip will depend on how long this process takes. OK, so we've reached the end. You can see it's now stopped processing. So what you then want to do, if you're happy with that, is come down and click the Save button down here. You can see it's now removed the background from the image. So what I'm going to do is start playing this clip. You can see the bit down here, which was um, not highlighted, but later on in when it was doing the tracking, I did stop the clip and highlight it. So you'll see it will appear in a minute. Just there. You can see where I filled it in. And again, with this part of the background, when it started coming through, I stopped it there and you can see I removed the background using that tool. But as you can see, this has done a really, really good job of removing the background. So I say it's a very quick tutorial, but you can spend a lot more time on your editing. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So I hope this quick tutorial helped you out today. And if it did, I'd really appreciate it if you was to consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like and also subscribing to the channel. With that being said, I just want to take a moment to thank you guys for watching this quick tutorial and I will see you in the next video.